Peru. Oh, holy sh A land of mystery. Freshwater dolphins, they really are pink. Of diverse landscapes and cultures. They just slaughtered the animal right before doing so. She said a prayer. A place that almost finished me off. There, I found myself face to face with food poisoning from a dubious ceviche. And I consumed jungle meat I feared might be my last supper. Wow, it's got a powerful pungent smell. Yeah. So if this kills me, I don't know. I need a helicopter evacuation. But let's back up and explain how we got here. Peru, one of 12 countries in South America, is home to 34 million people, with nearly a third of them residing in its capital, Lima. Oh, you cracked the code, Heritage. Who would have thought? Here, high end cuisine pushes the limits of culinary possibility, and street food vendors charm your heart and challenge your stomach. I'm gonna grab this eye out right here. <laughs> there we go. That's yours. But Peruvian food is hard to pin down. Partially because its geography, people, and traditions vary so widely across the land. I would say that this is like the second best anticucho I've ever had in my life. Well, thanks for not bringing me to the best one. What's the best one then? <laughs> Peru's geography spans three regions the coast, the mountains, and the rainforest. And so, like culinary conquistadors, we embark on a journey through all three starting with the coast, which stretches an impressive 1,500 miles. In other places, the time passes slowly, and Lima, in, everything's really quick. Lima, the sprawling capital, is built right up to the ocean. Here, you'll find Pescado Terminal, the Disneyland of seafood markets. Take a look at this, it's upside down. This is how they swim in the wild. Peru's fishing industry reigns supreme in Latin America, offering more than 2,000 species to the world. Both eyes are on one side. And we're on the hunt for the strangest of the strange. This is massive. I've never seen anything like it. The Humboldt squid or Peru's flying jumbo squid. Heading inland, Peru's towering highlands emerge within the Andes mountain range. A shift in elevation, geography, and climate reveal new ingredients and recipes, including some peculiar proteins. This right here, what do you think? Are we eating that? It smells like jerky. Mountain dwellers in Arequipa have an affection for a little fuzzy rodent known as the guinea pig. Oosh. Oh man, I wish I didn't see this. <laughs> Wonderful in a stew, or even better, fried whole. They eat this one in parties. It's right? like a Filipino lechon. A mini Filipino lechon. A personal Lechon. At elevations of 10,000 feet, you'll find this country's iconic shepherds tending to herds of fluffy, soft alpacas. It's like yeah, the it's getting close to your so, hair. Yeah, it's so interesting. These guys <laughs> offer high quality wool. Wow, awesome, guys. But even better, they offer a one of a kind protein experience. You can have it cooked or eaten like the locals, completely raw. I've got my half a kidney, you got your half a kidney. How about some spleen? Do you like some spleen? La otra, esta no. <laughs> he doesn't like that. <laughs> Descending from the mountains, you'll land in Iquitos, Peru's gateway to the Amazon jungle, and a city of half a million people, accessible only by plane or boat. And they have to be bee larvae, right? I'm not eating maggots, am I? Here, many are still nourished by the exotic jungle meats found within the Amazon. This is built to survive in nature, but it's not built for the ultimate predator, hungry Peruvians in the rainforest. From tortoises to wild boar, wild pig, wild pig. Dude. And even howler monkey. Everything that most of the people is eating, except the dolphin. Aside from the dolphin, everything else? No problem. Holy cow. Venturing deep into the Amazon requires a lengthy journey by boat. But once you're there, you'll witness a completely unique way of life. <laughs> oh, yes. That. The ultimate cooking vessel. A place where villagers forge for food and happily devour whatever the jungle offers them, no matter the offering. He got one. Yeah, yeah. What is it? This is the other type, the piranha. This one is better than the other. Oh, oh. Joining me on this adventure, my good friend, Oro. Get up, Oro. No. No. Last time, we toured his mother country of Cuba. Oh my god. This time, he's going to experience what it's like to walk in my shoes. I did it. You're holding it like the Lion King. Whether he likes it or not. Okay, she's telling me to grab. Oh my god. The feeling. <laughs> like the country itself, Peruvian cuisine is a vast, ever changing landscape. Outside influences are many. The proteins and plants vary depending on where you are, and recipes differ depending on who you're with. One thing I can say is there's no place quite like Peru. And you're gonna see it all in 24 hours. This is an amazing, interesting looking creature. When you look at it, what do you think? Are you hungry, first of all? Well, I don't see an armadillo. I'm like, oh, dinner. No. <laughs> I, 